welcome to another training session on this youtube channel in today's session we will learn how we can make a star delta circuit using only two contactors and a timer before starting today's session i would highly recommend you guys to please subscribe this channel and press the bell icon for more upcoming video tutorials first of all we will see what are the components needed to make the star delta circuit to make this circuit we need a motor protector breaker two contactors and a timer and we also need a motor protection overload device connected to the delta contactor we need two push buttons one will be normal open green push button to start the star delta circuit and the other one will be the red push button please note that this red push button is a normal close push button we will use this red push button to turn off the star delta circuit let's start doing the power circuit wiring for the star delta circuit first of all we will connect three phase power supply lines at the input terminals of the motor protector circuit breaker from the output of the mpcb we will connect the wires directly to the u1 v1 and w1 ends of the motor winding coils so now the three phase power supply is reaching to the winding coils directly without any contactor next we will connect three phase lines from the output of the mpcb to the input terminals of the delta contactor next from the output terminal of the motor protector overload we will connect the three phase supply at the output terminals of the star contactor next we will loop all three input terminals of the star contactor Finally we will connect the three phase supply lines from the output terminals of the overload protection to the U2 V2 and W2 ends of the motor winding coils Now the power wiring of the star delta circuit is completed here Next we will start the control wiring of the star delta circuit First of all we will pass the neutral line through the normal close contacts of the motor overload protection and after passing through the nc contact of the overload we will connect this neutral line to the neutral terminal of the timer and star delta contactors we have passed the neutral line through the nc contact of the motor protection overload so that in case of the motor overload this motor overload protection trips and cuts the supply to the timer and the contactor and it will turn off the star delta circuit next we will install an auxiliary block on the delta contactor because we need more no and nc contacts for holding on and interlocking with the star contactor next we will take the control phase line and after passing through the switches this line will pass through the nc contacts of the delta contactor and connects at terminal 7 of the timer and we will loop the same wire at the common terminal 1 of the timer we will pass this control phase wire through the nc auxiliary contacts of the delta contactor to make sure that the timer only turns on when the delta contactor is off next we will connect the wire from terminal 5 which is normal close contact of the timer to the a1 coil terminal of the star contactor next we will connect the control phase wire from the input side of the normal close contact of delta contactor to the normal open contact of the star contactor from the other end of the normal open contact we will connect a wire to the input side of the green push button this wire will hold on the star contactor and timer once we press the green push button 
Next we will connect a wire from the normal open auxiliary contact of the star contactor to the second common terminal 1. From the normal open terminal 3 of the timer we will connect a wire to the NC auxiliary contact of the star contactor. Next from the output of the NC contact we will connect a wire to the A1 terminal of the delta contactor. This interlock will make sure that the delta contactor will only get turned on when the star contactor is off. Now the wiring is completed and we will test the circuit. As soon as we press the green push button, the star contactor and the timer turns on and the motor start to run in the star mode. As soon as the timer is up after 10 seconds, the timer will turn off the star contactor and turn on the delta contactor and the motor start to run in the delta configuration. As we press the red push button, it will cut the main control phase line and turn off the circuit. So that's the end of the today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Do share, like and subscribe this channel. Until next time, take care and goodbye.